Hello, so here I am with my Arduino powered iRacing dashboard prototype all hooked up. Um, I have uh, iRacing on up here. I'm in the Mazda MX-5 Cup on uh, Laguna Seca of all places. Yeah, you try doing that corkscrew with one hand and a camera in the other. Okay, so what do we got going on here? I got some, it all kind of works and I'm very happy. I still got my shift indicator going here, uh, my gear uh, indicator. Over here is my fuel, uh, more on that in a minute, my throttle, my brake, uh, my lap counter, I've already done 10 laps, my speed in miles per hour, my RPM. The car is currently turned off and I'm just after corner one, uh, that's quarter two right in front of me. Um, the reason why is I want to show off my fuel counter. I've got some debug output going on here. Now you probably can't see that the resolution isn't very good on this camera. Um, I'm currently at 10.2898%. Um, so why is that important? So my fuel gauge down here, I'm currently showing three bars and a yellow light. So if anybody who saw my last video, there's three lights here, green, yellow, and red, and they represent 10%, 5%, and 1% resolution for the fuel gauge. So right now the yellow light is showing me 5%, so three bars means I have up to 15% fuel, but at least 10% fuel. When it drops below 10, that bar will go off and so forth. But the really neat thing is that at the, when it drops below 10%, it drops to 1% resolution, so the red light comes on, and this turns into 1% uh, uh, resolution and we can see some really neat stuff happening with that in a minute um, so let's just go driving um, I'm going to be doing Laguna Seca here with one hand so I'm not going to go fast I just want to show off all the numbers and stuff so let's uh, start the car now try and keep an eye out on my uh, fuel gauge here it's going to change probably before turn 4 and you'll see it flip red and all the bars will go up um, and then I'm going to pull into the pit and fuel up and now that's cool because <laughs> it, it works the way you think it would work alright so um, let's give her a go one handed Just drop below 10% fuel. And you can see the three, uh, the brake and throttle uh, bars doing their job. So why did I put brake and throttle in there? Well, why not? Uh, they look good, they're fun, they move. So there's movement on the dashboard along with the RPM. Uh, the dashboard won't be boring. See? Cool, huh? Whoops. Oh, smoke in the rear view mirror. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. I hooked up some warning lights uh, down here. I don't know if you can actually see them. I'm going to put it in neutral for a sec. So that light that goes off there is the rev limiter warning from the engine warning bit mask. Okay, that didn't say that right, but anyways, you know what it is. I've also got a pit limiter. Um, I don't own any cars with a pit limiter, so I can't test it. The other light is uh, the stalled engine warning. Over here I've got two more, uh, fuel pressure and oil pressure. I haven't quite figured out how to test those yet. Maybe crash my car somewhere. You know what's really neat though? If you're looking at that, the rev limiter doesn't really line up with the 100% shift indicator, which is interesting. Okay, so um, I'm almost at pit lane here. Let's uh, try and get into pit lane. Yep, 
Yeah, that's no fair. I keep thinking that's pit lane. I haven't done Laguna Seca very much, so... Okay, so let's see. Are we, uh... Hang on here. I'm just going to see my fuel level. It's streaming at uh, 9.2. Maybe let's try and get it down a little bit here. up some fuel here so that's just some debug data I've got streaming by just to help me figure out what's going on all right that's gonna to take too long to drop that extra uh, two percent so let's just go up and pit and see what happens here you can see my speed down there showing me 29 uh, miles an hour 30 31 32 So how much fuel am I doing? I'm still over uh, over nine percent. That's too bad. All right. Well, anyways, we're gonna fill up with fuel here. I think. Yep. So as the car fills up with fuel, you can see the fuel gauge goes up. Five, per, uh, so we're at 10, 11, or we're at uh, 5%, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30%, 35%, 40%, 45%, no, 40%. Now it's 45, coming up on 50 and we just passed fifty percent so it goes to green and the bar drops down and we'll keep an eye on our pit guy here so as soon as the bars hit full the flag should go up so we're at ten percent resolution so it's going to take a little longer to fill the bars one more bar to go And we're done. Why won't you let me go? There he is. Why did it take so long? Well, that's interesting. Anyways, I'm going to have to look into that one just a little bit, see why the extra delay was there. I don't quite understand what happened. Um, so that's it. Oops, get her out of gear. So I did my 11th lap. I was going fast. All of my little meters, my engine warnings. Um, the Arduino has got a ground and a power. Here's another ground. These two go to this 5451. These three control all of that. And the last two controls all of that. So, I mean, wow. Total of seven wires is driving all of this stuff here. Anyways, this has been a lot of fun. Next step, uh, even my server code, I'm happy with that now. Um, I've got a couple of uh, IRA, iRace thread going on, and i just got to do some little error checking for startup and shutdown. And, uh, but I think the next step is to actually um, start doing some full-size mock-ups of the, of the actual dashboard. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, talk to you all later.